What's up guys, Crypto Savvy here. Welcome to the channel where you subscribe to get daily updates every single day on Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and during the week we look at the Dow Jones Industrial, which we'll be doing at the end of the video. We're going to talk a little bit about Jamie Dimon today and when he announces Bitcoin is a fraud and now he's saying that they're getting into Bitcoin through Coinbase and whatever, whatnot. We're going to talk a little bit about that and look on the charts of when he says that stuff and what happens. Also, don't forget, we have a free Discord group in the description below the video. Definitely check it out. It's awesome community, guys. Let's get into it. All right, guys, as always, this is not financial advice, trading advice, investment advice, none of that. Disclaimer scrolling down the bottom. Make sure you read it. And always remember, this is my opinion not yours we're going to take a look at the news headlines real quick just to get a feel for the sentiment and first first we have bitcoin has halved what now um get set for bitcoin having here's what it means that was that was an older one craig wright threatens to crash the bitcoin price as always he's i don't even know why anyone pays attention to this guy um stable coin supply makes 10 billion dollars as traders demand dollars. Um, Bitcoin having what does the much hyped event mean? It means it's a much hyped event. Bitcoin news roundup for May 12th. And for those of you that think I'm not a believer in Bitcoin, I'm a total believer in Bitcoin. I just don't believe in all the hype and craziness around it. You guys know who I'm talking about. A lot of them channels, that's all they do is talk the hype. We try to take a look at the honest analysis on this channel so bitcoin miner riot blockchain racks up 221 million deficit uh, bitcoin's having is upon us bitcoin's having is is now when to buy bitcoin how to focus on bitcoin price creates a different future so it's kind of a mixed news nothing really stands out in it today let's look at the fear and greed index and we are at 41 we've raised three points from yesterday so but we're still in the fear zone so people are getting a little more bullish a lot more bullish if you look around um so that that to me tells me that we're not ready for the bull run um let's look at these two trend lines i have here on the monthly we have 93.40 as the top if we close a monthly before above that i think it'll be pretty bullish if we're in the middle neutral if we close below 85.57 bearish we should be heading to the lower lows that we've been talking about on this channel for quite some time um still eyeballing this five thousand fifty one hundred dollar range um and of course this will continue up and until we hit it if we do hit it that's the 55 ema i'm still looking at that don't forget if you guys want to support the channel this is my wife's webpage inkyourimage.com there's a link below in the description i'll also put one in the pinned comments down below Definitely check it out. A lot of cool crypto stuff in there. Um, she could put any crypto, not just what you see on here. So hit her up in the contact if you have any questions. And let's get on with the weekly. Same thing we've been watching. The RSI is getting pretty interesting. We'll look at that in a second. First, I want to start out by... Oh, I want to remind you, I have a Prime XBT tutorial. I'll leave it up top. Definitely check it out. It's an awesome exchange. You can exchange or you can... Trade Forex, commodities, gold, silver, oil, um, S&P, Dow, anything on it using your Bitcoin as collateral. Great exchange. Um, I have some promo codes. You get If you use my promo code SAVVY50, you get 50% bonus on top of your deposit. SAVVY25, you get 25% uh, off your trading fees. So, And the 50% bonus is up to one Bitcoin. But keep in mind, guys. Leverage trading is dangerous. Don't do super high leverage and don't put in more than you're willing to lose if you are going to try trading. Um, but there's a lot of people that say the trading is a scam. Trading has been around for hundreds of years. People will make a living off it. Um, some people are good at it. Some people aren't. So you never know until you try. But definitely don't put in more than you're willing to lose. And let's get into it. Looking at the weekly, we have this, obviously, this trend line. A lot of people have it drawn where the wicks broke through. I don't believe in that. I believe in the trend line is the wicks. If we close a candle above this trend line, at least a daily, super bullish in my opinion. Um, we're going to take a look at the bullish and the bearish case scenario. I'm still leaning bearish personally. Um, 
But let's take a look at this falling wedge, falling broadening wedge that we've been watching on this channel for a long time. The measured move of the break of that, well, let's say if we broke out this week, would be around the $16,000 range. But of course, we would have to break and close a daily above the 10.5 for that to even be in consideration. As of right now, the top of this wedge is right around 93.15, 93.30, and that's confluent with some other stuff we're going to take a look at. I do want to mention these lower lows down here, and then we'll take a look at some more price targets also. But first off, the 40, 45 to 4600 would be retesting this bottom trend line, which we wicked below in our capitulation back here. I also have this thicker trend line on the bottom that makes this a symmetrical triangle. If we were to come down and retest that, it would be somewhere between, all depending on where it hit, but somewhere between the 27 and $3,000 range. Um, and then we also have this bottom trend line from the bottom of the broadening wedge, falling broadening wedge could be as low as 1,000. Again, guys, I'm not saying it's gonna go there. I'm just saying, keep in mind that is a possibility. If we look at the EMAs here, the EMAs are turning bullish on the weekly. Let's take a look at the RSI on the weekly. We've been watching this falling channel for quite some time. We did pop out of it last week and then we closed back inside it. We are outside of it now. Um, if we close the weekly outside of this, that could be pretty bullish, guys. If we do, the chances are we come back down and test it before continuing up. But that would be a pretty bullish case scenario if we do close this RSI outside of this channel at the end of the week, which is Sunday. So definitely keep an eye on that. Let's go into the daily. And I'll zoom out in the daily and we'll talk a little bit about when um, Jamie Dimon, you know, JP Morgan starts talking about Bitcoin and what happens after he talks about it. So it, it's pretty interesting. But first, let's take a look at the daily. Then we'll talk about that. Then we'll go into the four hour. Then we'll move on to Litecoin, then Ethereum, and then the Dow Jones. Um, so let's look at what's going on now in the daily. So in the daily, obviously, we're halfway through the day now, almost halfway. It'll be halfway by the time you guys see this video. We are getting rejection at the 8 EMA on the daily, which is right around right around the $9,000 range. Um, we'll see what happens here. It's We did break back above this trend line we talked about yesterday at around, 80, around 8,800. And we came back down, we got support on it today on this daily. But like I said, we're getting rejected as of right now at the 8 EMA. If we make it up to test this top trend line, um, we're looking around the 9350 again, which is confluent with what we talked about earlier. Uh, my thoughts are we're going to come down. We could go up as high as 96, and we'll talk about why. Uh, but I do think we are going to eventually break down from this rising channel. And the golden pocket area is right around the 60. It's actually between uh, 6050 and 6220. I do think it's most likely we at least come back down and test this area. Again, if we go higher and break later, then that changes. But as of right now, that's these are my targets. This is my my main target I've been talking about for a long time, 5,400. I'm still looking at that. Um, let's, let me look at something. If we look at the RSIs, or the EMAs right here, our 55, which is the yellow, and then the pink, the 200, are looking to cross here. A lot of times when that crosses, that's extremely bullish. We can see over here. But keep in mind, a lot of times when these are about to cross, we have a huge move in the opposite direction, whether it be a golden cross or a death cross. And this is a, considered a golden cross if they cross. But a huge move down can turn that all around. And I do believe, in my opinion, that's what's going to happen. You can watch other channels. Um and watch the bullish scenario, the bearish scenario, and we talk about both. Um, of course, we've talked about the 10.5. A break above that and a daily close above 10.5 would be extremely bullish, guys. But it looks to me as if this rising broadening wedge we broke out of here, we came back, tested the bottom, we didn't quite touch. So could we come up to that 10.5 and actually get a test on this within the next, within this week, most likely? It's definitely a possibility. I want you to keep that in mind. But again, guys, I'm still bearish here. Um, yeah, I'm still bearish here. If we look at 
the swing low to the swing high. I have the Fibonacci retracements on here. Uh, the 0.236 is the 8625, which you can see we got a bounce here. Um, if that one breaks, then we have the, which I do believe it will, the 0.382 is around 7700. After that, we have the 0.5 at 6981. And then, of course, our golden pocket area. And 0.76 is as low as 52, which if you remember in the monthly, we looked at 52. That's right around the, where the 55 EMA would be on the monthly. So, But like I said, as of right now, it, the e, the RS or the EMAs do look bullish, but I, I do think we come back down here. Um, there again, there's a possibility we go all the way up to 10.5. I don't see it happening. I'll show you um, the targets in between from the Fibonacci retracement when we go into the four hour in here that we could be headed to. But another thing I want to point out: volume still on a decline here, which. We are in this rising channel, so that confirms the rising channel to me. All right, now let's zoom out a little bit and look at the Jamie Diamond stuff. All right, so back here, September 12th, 2017, he said Bitcoin is a fraud. And as you can see, we had a little capitulation there, but then you can see what happened afterwards. If you think about it, the same JP Morgan, same thing, got in trouble for manipulating what gold and silver, I believe, or at least one of them, whatever. Um, that's how they manipulate, guys. He he said that, and then if you remember, if you were here around that time, that he was buying it up after announcing that he was fire any employee that would, you know, he found buying it. But they were the biggest purchasers. After he said that. They purchased back in here, and then look what happened. And you can bet your ass he was shorting up here. Now, 2018, January 9th, JT, JP Morgan regrets calling BT a scam. BTC a scam. That was on the news. And you can see what happened. It didn't go up. It went down. So what happens when he says that? Probably a lot of investors and a lot of uh, traders start buying it up. Well, I'm sure he was... That was actually that was probably when he was shorting all the crap he bought back here. So just keep that in mind how that happens because October 6, 2018, he went to bashing Bitcoin again and then look what happened. We had a nice rally up and I'm sure he again shorted it cuz you know they play in the futures. So let's look at where we're at now. And they're saying they invested in Coinbase, so he's basically saying blockchain is good now. And that was yesterday. And you can see we're having this little pump, which he'll probably be dumping on everybody that he just talked into buying. So keep that in mind. That's the way I'm looking at it. Make up your own decisions. Like I said, I'm just showing you guys my opinion. Um, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Do what you want with it. But always look at both case scenarios. Now let's look at the four hour. So in the four hour, same thing, guys. And if you look, we are getting rejected at the 55 EMA on the four hour. We talked about that yesterday around the 8960, 8970 range. We got rejected twice yesterday and we just tried to get above it, could not close above it. As of yet, we still have 27 minutes as of making this video. Um, but we do have this is the Fibonacci retracement I wanted to talk about the swing high to the swing low here. Um, we've crossed the 0.236, we've crossed the 0.5 and got, came back down, tested it, got support. Now the next retracement zone is the 0.5 fib around, around 9100. If that breaks, the next stop is golden pocket zone, which also lines up with this. And that is around the 9360, which is confluent with what we the two other spots I talked about in the monthly and then the daily. So um, if that was to break, Nine, around 96.50 is the 0.786 fib. Honestly, I don't think it would go above that. If it did break above that, we could be going to test that 10.5 one more time. Um, that's where I'm at with that, guys. Uh, you know my... Oh, yeah. Another thing we were watching in the RSI. This is another thing that tells me that we most likely topped out here and we might start going down from here. Um, although the next four hour, we could go up, test that all the way up to nine, six, possibly between the nine, three and nine, six. And as long as the four hour closes below this again, back down, I do believe that's what's going to happen. 
let's look at and we've been watching that for quite a while since since we broke it we've been talking about this arrow has been here waiting for a retest of the bottom and i was saying that would be a good spot to short um, let's look at the four hour let me get this stuff off here so looking at the four hour let me get that vp vr off of there too um so looking at the four hour in litecoin same thing we fell out of this rising channel in the rsi we seem to be making a falling channel i do believe we're probably going to come back down and retest around this zone and we'll look at that in the price action as of right now the emas have turned bearish here on the four hour the 55 has crossed the 200 which is bearish we're getting rejected at the 13 now around 4240 we have our next support down here at 4109 if that breaks Let's look at the Fibonacci retracements for this on Litecoin. All right, so from the swing low to the swing high, the retracement areas are that 4109 has been support and resistance for a long time, all the way back here. Um, so we've had this blue line here for months and months and months. Um, as of right now, we could come all the way back up, test the top of this channel. And that's another reason, guys. I'm bearish here. As you can see, Litecoin fell out of the channel. Ethereum fell out of the channel over here. And Bitcoin is still in the channel. But I believe Litecoin and Ethereum have been great indicators of what Bitcoin is going to do. So that's why I'm still, even though, even if we do come up in these ranges, like we just talked about, the break of the bottom of this channel is going to be pretty damn bearish, guys. So let's go back over to Litecoin. And our 21 EMA as of right now is around 43, which it would line up with the bottom of this falling channel that we broke out of here. Also, the fall, the rising channel here, which would be, like I said, somewhere in the 43 to $45 range. If we break above that, next stop would be going to retest this 200, about 45. But I don't see us going above that in Litecoin. And let's look at our measured move of the break from here. Our measured move of this break takes us down to the 31.40. The 0.786 is at 30.55. Golden pocket zone is around 34 to 35 dollars, which is where I believe we're most likely headed. Same thing in Ethereum, and then we'll go on to Dow Jones next. We'll take a look at pre-market, see what's going on. Same thing with Dow Jones. We've talked about this yesterday. We've broken out of that channel there. Uh, the measured move there is around 135, but our golden pocket zone is around 138 to 143 we have our 0.786 at 119 guys if we break the lows on all of or any of these first that'll most likely mean litecoin and bitcoin are going to follow if ethereum was to do it first vice versa if, if we break the lows here then we look at the, those lower lows guys um i have a super low of ethereum about 47 litecoin i don't know if it's still on here yeah I have a super low of $10, so keep that in mind. But as of right now, let's look at what's going on with Ethereum in the... I don't know if we looked at the... Let me go back to here. Did we look at... Yeah, we did. We talked about the RSI there. Talk about the RSI in Ethereum real quick, and then we'll look a little closer at the price action in the EMAs. So it looks like we're in a falling channel or falling wedge here actually let me move this a little bit looks like we have a little more room to push up maybe test the top of this again before coming down but we've also fallen out of the channel in the four hour in the rsi here go back into the price action look at the emas so in the emas same thing um 8 13 and 21 ema have crossed 55 here 55 still heading down while the 200 is going across that would be really bearish if that comes down we have come up retested this trend line here we are smashed in between the 13 and the 8 ema looks pretty bearish guys um, unless we come up retest this area around 195 to 200 and retest this that'd be yeah around actually around 198 to retest 55 but i don't see us going much higher than that if we do go up um still bearish here guys uh, we just talked about the targets Golden pocket zone is right in here. Um, worst case, as long as we don't break the bottom is around 120. So 
pre-market. Let me refresh, make sure it's right. Dow is up 130. So we have about two hours as of the time of making this video for it opens. That can turn around. But if this, if the Dow does open up, get a little pump, Bitcoin, I'm sure we'll get that boost we were talking about. And then I, I would imagine the Dow would turn around then. If not, that changes everything. We could be heading to the 10.5. Looking at the Dow, as you can see, yesterday was a bad day. Um, at the, towards the end of the day, this is a four hour. We have a rising channel in here. If you wanna see the bigger view of the Dow, I have some way lower targets that I still believe that we're going to, but um, you can look back at previous videos last week and the week before. We're just gonna stick with the more immediate right here. But if we look at this blue trend, you see the blue trend lines here. Look at these as a rising broadening wedge. And a break of that, if we broke it sometime today, the target's going to be around 21 to 22,000 points. Um, and that doesn't mean it goes there today. That just means it's heading there if it does break these. It is getting supported on this trend line right here on the bottom, which was a rising channel, which gave us our lower targets down here. And like I said, if you want to see those, go back in the previous videos. Oh, yeah, guys, don't forget to smash the likes. Leave your comments down below. And a lot of people forget to hit the like button. Just do it. It helps the channel out. Really appreciate it. Okay, back into this. Also, we had this rising channel that we have broken out of. And I had a measured move of that. Let's uh, push this up. We actually used, we were looking at it as a rising wedge, which it still could possibly be. But as of now, we're looking at it as a falling channel that we did break out of. And I'm going to move that target up. It almost lines up with the... And that's around 21.1, but it almost lines up with 0.236 fib down here around 20,900 points. If we look at the RSI, it's looking pretty bearish. Um, we did close outside of this falling channel. Does look like we'll retest if you can see the dotted lines here. Um, falling broadening wedge we broke out of here. We have tested the top twice. Looks like we may come test the third time if that breaks. We are headed back down to some serious lows for the Dow Jones. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to click the Crypto Savvy logo above my head if you haven't already to get you subscribed to the channel. Tick the notification bell. And when you tick the bell, hit the all notification so you get notified when I post new videos. Otherwise, YouTube won't show it to you. Smash that like, leave your comments, take it easy. Have a great day and I'm out.